Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with uh, with some personal boxes, plural, for Tyler Fritz, who picked up four 2019-2020 Panini Hoops basketball boxes that we have on the site. Thank you, Tyler, for getting into this. Appreciate it. Bubba, you want to rip some of these packs? The pug is here. If you hear the sounds of a dog in the background. All right, so four boxes, two autographs per box. Two, four, six, eight autographs total. Maybe, maybe a Zion? Zion possibility? I mean, even, even a low numbered Zion like parallel serial numbered card non-auto could could maybe cover a cost of a box so that's the idea that i agree bub i know I, I would like a zion for tyler as well bubs i think we've got some more of these hoop box hoops boxes on the site ladies and gentlemen jazbeescasebreaks.com I think we may try to work on some group breaks first. We may hold off on some more personals until closer to the end of the night. So just FYI on that. But I think we got some baseball mixer spots moving along. And I would, uh, I would encourage everyone to pre-order the basketball that's dropping tomorrow, November 13th. Wednesday, November 13th. Flawless Collegiate Basketball Zion Edition drops tomorrow. And certified, 2019-2020 certified basketball drops tomorrow as well. So get into that action. That should be that should be a lot of fun. And if you pre-order tonight on the 12th here, if you pre-order tonight, you can try to win a little bit of break credit too. All right, obviously everything ships Tyler, good luck. There he is. He's in the chat right there. Good luck, man. We got Giannis Antetokounmpo, road to the finals, 20 out of 2019. There's LeBron James right here. He's playing the Suns right now. Both teams looking pretty good. There's Bradley Beal. Kind of fooled me there. I was backwards. thought it was an autograph. And Isaiah Roby is your first auto. There you go. That's first autograph. Dragic to 199. I like these NBA City cards too. What are you? What are you barking at, Bubs? What? Oh, you're barking at me. You're like, why are you not playing with me? I'll play with you in a second. Let's tip off. What are some other rookies this year, ladies and gentlemen, who have been looking pretty good? I mean, obviously Zion hasn't played a minute yet, but I think John Moran started off the season pretty well. I think R.J. Barrett's been looking good at moments. Um, Kobe White for the Bulls has been looking pretty good. So the depot. So yeah, so there's been some uh, there's been some good players out there. There's Michael Ray Richardson. Oh, Hachimura has been playing well as well for the Wizards. He's shown some moments. Yes, Bubs. RJ Barrett, there you go, there's another one. We want Michael Porter Jr., who's last year's rookies, to do well. And 
No, he already he already ate, Cam. He's just he's just angry that I'm not playing with him. CJ McCollum, I got work to do, bubs. That's how you get food, remember? Out of 99, Alan Samilgich. I'm in trouble with that name. What's great about last year's basketball products is that you can start to see them this year. Let's see how they've been doing. Nice city card right there. Different kind of refractor, but I like these city cards. Those look pretty sweet. Uh, <laughs> he is unofficially the Jaspie mascot, but... But I, I, I am I am his master. All right. All right, Tyler, that was box one. Here's box two. Could be a Jaspie mascot. Yeah, actually, you're probably right, Wayne. He probably owns me. All right, box two of four. Again, I think we're gonna hold some of the, some of the uh, if you someone else has maybe purchased a personal box. I think there are more available on Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com, but I think we're gonna save those. Uh, for a little bit later tonight, we want to try to get some get the group involved, get some group breaks going. Big matchup against uh, for my Lakers tonight. Lakers at Phoenix, and at the end of the first quarter, Suns are up by three, 29 to 26. Don't let him fool you, Rebel. That dog gets so much attention, too much attention. Trust me. Oh, I agree. Logan was saying a little bit earlier, maybe the Warriors rookies might be good and get some playing time. That's the uh, that's the hope. Jordan Poole, yeah. I think he's he's one of the guys. And Eric, yeah, I think Sean's right too. Eric, I, Eric is his name. Pashal is the other is the other one. So they should get some increased playing time, which should hopefully result in. The evolution of their game, which would ultimately result in uh, those two players being hashtag good for the hobby. And that would be that would be ideal. So while Steph Curry's out and Clay's out and KD's out and on a different team, the 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 silver lining, hobby wise, is that you're going to see some of these rookies get a shot. Vinny, what's going on? Logan saying that they both look good so far. Good. I've not, I haven't, I haven't watched a lot. I haven't watched too much hoops these days, aside from some Lakers games. But I need to get back, back into that. All right, next box for Tyler. Remember, we got you can pre-order tonight here on the 12th. Pre-order tonight, basketball tomorrow. Certified comes out tomorrow. Brand new certified. We've got flawless collegiate basketball drops tomorrow as well on jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you pre-order tonight, you can try to win some money tonight too. Otherwise, they drop on Wednesday the 13th. Nice Zion rookie card right there. There you go. 
I mean, if you're feeling frisky, Tyler, this might be you might be this might be worth like grading. You get like a PSA 10 out of this or something like that. That'd be pretty cool, right? Nice. I mean, could be gradable. Sean Corbett saying he's got he's got some vested interest, maybe some financial interest in uh, Rui Hachimura doing well. I think he's got a lot of his autographs and stuff, so he's hoping that he keeps it going. They've been off since Friday. Road to the finals, Jimmy Butler to 999. I'll sleeve all of those. They'll get top loaded before they go out, Tyler. Just all in right. the interest of time. Spencer Dinwiddie to 199. There's Jordan Pooler just talking about it. Logan thinks. He might be averaging like 20, 20 a game right now. That's good. I like I like the sound of that. There's Kevin Porter Jr. for the Cavs. Is he playing right now for the Cavs? Um, Cavs lose by a point to the Sixers in Philadelphia. Box score. Kevin Porter Jr., are you doing anything? Oh, he did. 16 minutes, four points, a couple rebounds and an assist. Not bad. Not bad. So he's getting a little time. Getting worked into the the rigors of the NBA. It's always good to see. James Harden, 2019. It's Jason Tatum. R.J. Barrett, Isaiah Roby, and Antonio Blankenly. Blankenly. Bulls. Not sure if I'm too familiar too familiar with him. Box score. Bulls. Is he playing? No, he's not. Sorry. All right, then we got Steph Curry, who should be out. He's intending to be back this season. He's out for a couple months or so. I think he was asked if he would shut it down the rest of the season, but but he was just like, no, nah, I'm going to play. He's like, why wouldn't I play? Yeah, why wouldn't he play? He's got to get... Got to get used to playing with some of the new teammates that he may have next year. The Jordan Pools and Eric Pastels of the world. He's got to get used to playing with those guys. All right, Vinny. You're welcome. Yeah, you went, you went big on those Kings in flawless basketball. Yeah, and you did end up with some really nice Marvin Bagley third cards. He needs to... He needs to get. Is he playing? Oh, he's playing. To, or the Kings are playing tonight. But he needs to get healthy, right? I don't think he. I don't think he's played a game yet. I think he's still been battling back from some injuries. Brian Painter might be lagging behind. He's saying, "Thanks, guys. Go Falcons." It's kind of out of context, but. All right. I'm sure he'll. The stream will catch up for him at some point.
Well, Vinny, you just wait until until Marvin Bagley the third starts to starts to play, gets back into the swing of things this season. That value might uh might increase. Sorry about that. Alright, there you go. I accidentally unplugged the can. The cords are, I don't know, the cords are kind of sensitive. If I, if I like touch it a little bit and it threatens to unplug itself. And is there, can we get a battery pack for this? We should be able to. Jason Tatum. We've got Goga. Now, people have been talking about this guy. Uh, Batadze, Goga Batadze, with the Pacers. They seem to like this character here. Did he play today? No, I don't think so, but... You, you you talk to you talk to you talk to Pacers fans, and they they like this guy's ceiling. I'm not sure what his status is right now, but they they like they like his ceiling. International player, I think he was drafted in the first round too. So there there could be some good value there. Lonzo Morning. Oh, so Vinny, so you've been PCing Marvin Bagley for a while? Is there a, am, is there a reason why? Or am I missing that reason why? James Harden, 20 out of 19. All right, see you, Cam. Got spark plugs, Trey Young. Joel Embiid, high voltage insert. And another Zion rookie card. Nice. Now it's out of 2019, 2019. The card's 1857 out of 2019. That James Harden. Another Zion. I don't know. One of these could be. Just send all of them in. Send all the Zions in for grading. And you may end up with, uh, with a PSA 10 or something. That would be pretty cool. I'm sure that'll that'll carry a lot of great value. Yeah, 
Uh, John Morant right here. This is kind of cool. This is supposed to... Oh, yeah. A magazine cover. I like that one. It's high voltage. Paul George will be back in action with the Clippers in their next game. Or sometime on their road trip. And we've got old Alvin Adams for the Suns. 22 out of 25. There you go, Tyler. Nice low number here. For this. Speaking of the Suns, how are my Lakers doing? Ooh, this is a tight game. 40 to 39. Lakers with a slim one point lead. 647 in the second quarter. Joe P, that is Dwight Howard on the Lakers. Yeah, he's been playing some good ball too. That's out of 25 for Sekou. Yeah, well after DeMarcus Cousins went down, the Lakers needed like a, like a big man to just kind of, I don't know, just to play some minutes. You know, just to fill in, fill in the time, you know. But this season, he's been with the minutes that he's been getting, he's been playing pretty well. Last nine games, but averaging about 20 minutes, he's playing six points, seven rebounds in 20 minutes, an assist and a, almost almost two blocks every 20 minutes. But yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it is kind of funny. His ceiling used to be so high, but he's he's a bench guy now. But he's accepted his role, which I think was a problem on his previous teams. I think he was struggling to accept that hey, your 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 role has now changed. Um, but I think he's accepted that role. He's coming off the bench, a lot of energy off the bench, playing some strong defense. You know, so. It's turned out to be, a, I think everyone had raised eyebrows when he was first signed, but I think everyone, I think and he's healthy. But, so that's pretty good. But yeah, Lakers do have some big guys on the team, Joe. You're right. Um, yeah, they got a lot of length. I think, th I think that should prove to be a problem for some teams. But, I mean, LeBron is pretty big, and he's playing, he's playing the point. And you got Dwight Howard... Anthony Davis, obviously. I want to say KCP has some length, too. They're scrappy defensive guys like Dennis, Danny Green. I think it's just all got a... Lakers still aren't used to playing. I mean, it's, such a, it's, basically, it's a brand new team. So <laughs> Lakers have to get used to playing together. I think there's still going to be some ups and downs. But defensively is where I think they've improved the most, kind of instantly. Instantly, their defense has been a lot stronger. Team defense. We know the individuals can play defense like Anthony Davis, but team defense has been a lot better. Yeah, that's right, Sean. He's on a he's he's essentially on a prove it deal. Yeah, I think the contract is so like so like team friendly that if Dwight Howard like kind of acts, I don't know what well, this might be one of his last chances to be on a playoff team. So I think he's really buttoning it up. And trying his best. But yeah, I'm not sure the specifics, but Sean's saying it's like something like where if they could release him before Christmas and not owe him anything. Possibly the same deadline where you can, where I think you can finally trade players who were traded for, or who were signed this past off season. And I think that rule exists so you can't just trade like... Jonathan Isaac, and then trade him again a week later. No, you don't like Dwight's hair? I think the hair is fine. I could do without the color in the hair. Not a fan of color in, in the hair. In general, I could do without that. I'm I'm watching the ESPN game cast as Alex Caruso makes a diving dunk. I've got the game on the TV out there. I need to increase the volume a little bit. Dwayne saying, I still remember buying 
NBA Hoops back in 1992. Pulled two Shaq Gold rookies in the same pack. They're stuck together. No damage. Nice. <laughs> now they're 100 bucks a box. Thanks a lot, Zion. Oh, there he is. Speaking of Shaq. Yeah, what are they worth? What are those worth now, Dwayne? Any idea? Probably have to get those graded by now, but still. Gotcha. So he makes. Gotcha. So Sean saying Dwight makes about fourteen thousand five hundred bucks, basically, a day, every time, every day he's on the team, starting October twenty first, but with zero salary protection. Got it. No movie quote call out, Joe P. Did I miss something? Do I need to watch more movies? Do I need to stop watching Disney Plus movies on Disney Plus? This break brought to you by Disney Plus. Stream now. Disney needs to pay us for all the plugs we're giving them. Todd Father thinks he might have some in. Todd, do a do a basement hunt. There's Kawhi, out of 2019. No, I don't. I don't know that that movie reference, Joe P. The 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 spiders having a meeting on his head. There's Joel Embiid to ten. That's a nice low number here. Bubba snoring. Oh, it's from Friday. I haven't seen that in ages. When's the last time you've seen Friday, everybody? Joe P., Dwayne, when's the last time we saw Friday? Does that, does that still hold up? Like if I watch it tonight, would that still hold? Another Zion. All right, so all these, all these Zions help, Tyler, in lieu of an autograph. Might as well pull some Zion rookie cards. There's LeBron. I love those NBA City cards. I think those look pretty sharp. Where are we? Should have two autographs. I haven't seen them yet. Where are they? Is that an autograph? It is. Here's PJ Washington Jr. Rookie Inc. I think he was a top top t ten. He's up there. PJ Washington, twelfth overall pick. There you go, nice. Always good to get these first rounders, especially in the top half of the draft. We just gotta wait to see if he does something magical. Did he play today? Did Charlotte play today? No, I don't think Charlotte played today. They played yesterday. Is that is that piece PJ Washington playing? They fell to the Sixers a few couple days ago. No, PJ Washington. Is he doing work? He is. Look at this. 37 minutes in the game against the Sixers. 15 points, 4 rebounds, 4 steals. 3 for 4 from 3 with a plus minus of 2. That's pretty solid, but he's getting some strong minutes. There's Aldridge.
Uh, oh, there you go. Our final autograph here, Daniel Tice. I think it's Tice or Theus. Probably Tice. And that's your final autograph right there, Tyler. Thank you very much, man, for grabbing those four boxes. P.J. Washington one to look out for. He's getting minutes. He's getting opportunities. And that's all you need as a rookie. Keep hoping that their game advances. Go Lakers. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, Tyler.